Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. And I'm Gabe. In this episode, we talk about when to replace your mattress. So let's go. Okay, so a question that comes up quite a bit from customers is, when, do, when should I replace my mattress? Or how do I know it's time to get a new mattress? So this is a very important question for two reasons. One is because if you're on your mattress too long, if it's starting to break down on you, it's gonna take a toll on your body. It's gonna affect your back support. It's gonna mess up your sleep. And I've said it before, if you wait to replace your mattress before it's fully broken, it's gonna break you. It's gonna really affect your body. So replace your mattress before it really starts to take a toll on your body. And also the second reason why is because some people don't need to replace your mattress. You know, I've seen people get a new mattress fairly new and they replace it prematurely when all they needed to do was a little bit of adjustment or a tweak on it. And the industry says you should replace your mattress on average seven to 10 years. There was a big push by a major brand not too long ago, it's like replace every eight. I've never really bought into that. It was more marketing. It was more of a way for people to replace your mattress sooner and go through that, which, you know, I mean, it's good for the industry, but overall, I think it's not helpful for the consumer. So there's not a clear cut answer on this. Like why or when should you replace your mattress? So that's why we did this video. We want to A, help you save your money and B, help you save your back and your body on this. So Gabe, there's five reasons that we found that we would probably cover when you should replace your mattress. Gabe, what's the first one? First one, obvious one, everyone should know, you probably know it, is the mattress is no longer comfortable, right? I mean, that's the, that's... Captain obvious. Yeah, Captain obvious here. Yeah. But, but what does that mean, right? So it can mean that you're fighting over that, that middle, right? So you got that, so you look at the mattress and you're like, okay, it looks like it's pretty good shape. But then in that middle set, the center, you're your spouse or significant other is like fighting over that firm part in the middle. Yep. Or you're moving all the way to the edge of the bed and because it's a little bit firmer at the edge of the bed too. Yeah. Right? That's when you know. Probably time to replace that. Now. Yeah. Also, I mean, yeah, if you, like Gabe was saying, if you're fighting over the edge or if you're tossing and turning a lot, you're having a hard time falling asleep, you're sleeping hot, you know, motion transfer, you could feel the other person. Like those are all going to fall under the umbrella of comfort. Sleep, sleeping better on your chair in your living room or something like that, right? Yeah. That's all comfort, right? Or going to the sleep on the couch. Yes. All of that's under comfort. Yes. So overall, if you're just no longer comfortable, then it may be time to replace your mattress. Okay, so the second reason why you should replace your mattress is what's number two? So it's kind of like uh, piggybacks off of the comfort, but it's maybe you are comfortable, but then all of a sudden you're just waking up with pain. Yeah. Right, you're just painful as like upon waking and you don't have those pains, aches and pains during the day. Yeah, if I heard people like, man, when I lay in my bed, initially I love how it feels, yeah. but when I wake up, I'm like, oh, I can't move. You know, I'm like, and it, and the pain goes away as they start moving. If that's the case, your mattress is probably not giving you adequate support. Yeah. There's something going on with the support or with, the, with your sleeping position. And if that's the case, then it may be time to replace your mattress. Yep, absolutely. Okay, Gabe, what is the third reason why someone should replace your mattress? Uh, if there's significant sagging. Significant right? sagging. I mean, maybe you are comfortable in that bed. I don't see how you would be, but maybe you are comfortable in that hole. They're, they're in a little nest. Some people say like, you know what? It's like custom to me, my, 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 my little nest. It's like a hammock or Yes, something. but it's not good. Yeah, it's not good. It's not, your body's not getting that support. If it's significant sagging, yeah, you're not just getting this. Your body's not getting support. And what's significant sagging? You know, anything, I would say more than an inch, you know, of sag in the mattress. And easy way to find out is just by flat edge and taking the measurement yeah. on it. But yeah, usually you visually can see it too. Yeah, if it looks like there's a ghost laying in your mattress with nobody sleeping on it, then that's a significant sag and then it may be time to replace your mattress. So this is a tricky one, but I, this come up. Number four, what's number four? Number four, this is one like it's, if you sleep better somewhere else, but yeah. take that with like, put an asterisk on it. Yeah, right? there's a caveat. Yeah, it's uh, if you sleep better somewhere else, but you slept there for an extended period of time. Yes. And it's not just related to like vacation and all of a sudden my thoughts and my worries and stress is all cleared up, right? Yeah. yeah, it comes up like a lot, like after summertime, I get that, it's like, man, we just got back from vacation and man, I slept so good. I didn't realize how much my mattress sucked. So that's why they're getting a new mattress. So that case, yes, it probably is a good time to replace your mattress, but 
like Gabe was saying, with Vacation 2, you're just your mind and your, your whole sense of being is in a whole other place. You're in a whole different state, you you're know? You're not cooking, you're not cleaning your house. Yeah. So that, that can help you sleep better too. Yeah. But you know, if you're sleeping better, your bed mattress is more comfortable at the Airbnb or the hotel that you stayed at, and you come home and it's like, oh, you know, it's not as comfortable, then I would say it's time to replace your mattress. Okay, number five. This is actually pretty important, and I actually have been seeing this more often. Right. So, and it could be overlooked. Just, and this might even just spawn something, you know, with you, you never even thought about. What's number five, Gabe? Yeah, the other one is like what we've seen is the people that are coming with like chemical sensitivities or allergies. Yes. Right? Just being exposed to, with it, whether it just be like the, the glues or the fire retardants or the foams, right? Yeah. That have been off gassing or just even like the dust mites. Right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, we see the big three when it comes to mattresses is to, to watch out for as far as chemicals is the foams, the polyurethane foams, the glues, and the chemical fire retardants. Those are the big three, and those are the three things that we see people have real issues with. I mean, your face is up against that thing all night, and some people just like, you know what? I changed my mattress, and it like my symptoms went away, you know, because it went to a natural mattress. And there is natural options that are actually comfortable and that last a long time. I mean, that's why we use late that's why we use wool and cotton in the majority of because they're comfortable and they last a long time yeah so but that may be if you if you find that you have chemical sensitivities like you can't handle perfumes air fresheners stuff like that you know then you may have some chemical sensitivities in that case it may be time to replace yeah. your mattress True. that well we have a bonus one I know we said five there's a bonus one this is it's mr. captain obvious obvi Which one? is gonna be get yeah, bed bugs right if there's bed bugs you know if it's just been damaged, they get a coil sticking out or something like that, or yeah. it's been heavily soiled. Yes. You know, it's gonna be breaking down the materials inside there. Obviously. Replace that mattress. Yes. Replace yeah. it. Okay, but now there are times, like I said, you may not need to replace your mattress. You know, I mean, again, there's, we want you to save money. We want you to get the most value, but Gabe, when should they not replace their mattress? Yeah, first, if you see a sag in the mattress, what I would first check is the foundation. The bottom, underneath the mattress. Yeah, yeah. Don't just say, I gotta throw the ma my, my mattress away, but my foundation is great, I'm gonna get a new mattress. Yes. Put it on that old foundation. All of a sudden, you realize, oh shoot, kinda still have another sag again. Yeah. So, check out the foundation first. If you have a weak foundation, maybe that's all you need to replace. Yeah, when I say foundation, whatever's underneath yeah. the mattress, box could be the platform, spring. box spring, we have a video on that like box rings versus foundations that's one i would highly recommend to give you a little bit more education on that because a mattress is only as good as the weakest link so if there's something compromised underneath the mattress it's going to eventually trickle up to affect your mattress mm -hmm. then eventually trickle up to affect your back so first if your mattress is fairly new good condition like three years or less but you notice it is dipping more than it should check underneath the mattress first yeah. right and also, if you buy a new mattress, just re really quick, you should probably always replace that foundation. Yes. Because if there's ever any warranty issue, you know, hey, I actually got a brand new foundation. So we should know it's not the foundation. Yep, and check out that video that we did about foundations and box springs. Yeah. And then another reason why you may not need to get a new mattress. Gabe, what's the other reason why? Yeah, the other way reason is this looks good, but if it's just like too hard, you know, it's like, man, it's just hurting my shoulder, hurting my hip, and it's just too firm, you might just need a topper. You you might just get away with the topper, yeah. We actually, again, we did a whole video on that. Should you buy a mattress topper? You know, and when I say it's a good condition, you know, it's like, if it's fairly new, like again, it's like three years or less, mm -hmm. still has that support, it's just too much pressure on your shoulders or your hips, like Gabe was saying, explore that, you know, instead of having to shell out on a bunch of money for a new mattress. So that could be a cheap, quick, easy fix. Yeah. Right. But but if it's if you see it sagging or if you notice that, hey, it's firmer in the middle, firmer in the edge and my part is soft, that topper is not going to do anything. Yeah. Check out that video. Do you need a mattress topper? I think we summed it up. I think I hope this helped you guys. So, Gabe, yeah. real quick, we have a mattress guide. Yes. Download our mattress shopping guide. It's just going to help give you some tips on what to look for, questions that, you know, that we answer inside there. Just kind of get you just more aware of like when you're out there shopping for the mattress and finding the right one. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hope this helped. Give us a call if you have questions. Sleep well. God bless.